All right, what's up everybody? It's November 2017 and some of the 2018 models have already started fluctuating into the Chevy store. Uh, right behind me is the new 2018 Chevy Impala 2LZ sedan. So stay tuned. That's what we're getting ready to look at right now. All right, let's go ahead and have a look. Now, we're not going to spend too much time on this video review today because we've already done an in-depth video on the new Impala for 2018, but still, just kind of want to show it to you. It kind of caught my eye earlier when I was, um, you know, walking past it, and I said, man, that black looks really sporty with those wheels on it, and uh, it's definitely worth taking the time to check it out. The Impala is pretty much Chevrolet's flagship sedan. I mean, we don't have anything as big as this, and it is a really nice car. So let's go ahead and hop in and see what we can find out about it. All right, so here it is. I just kind of moved it over to a different spot real quick so we can kind of get away and uh, really... <laughs> I can't get away from many cars. There's a bunch of cars around here at this store here. But um, first off, front end looks good on the Impala. Again, like I just said a minute ago, it is the biggest sedan that Chevy offers right now. I like the black Chevy logo. I mean, the gold one would look nice on the black exterior as well. But it does definitely look good. Um, headlights are nice. Kind of sleek, you know. Um, the new 2018 Malibu kind of has this look going on right it's just like a miniature version of the impala i do like the wheels okay those wheels look nice and uh, and it's a definitely a long wheelbase vehicle i mean look how long this car is it's really big you know and i think that's kind of what the impala is all about is size you know it's definitely a lot bigger i also like too the uh the pano roof i mean it doesn't stretch all the way back but you definitely got some sunroof going on in the second row back there okay but again not probably covering right above your head when you're sitting down in the seat but man look how long that car is i mean it's really a big vehicle and uh, and this one being the premier package it's pretty well loaded up i mean you got backup sensors backup camera um you know you got the dual exhaust going on right there and i can see the fumes coming right out of those exhaust pipes there let's go ahead and pop the trunk for a minute and have a look at that i mean my goodness gracious is that not a massive trunk Let's get out of that sunlight for a second. Look how big that trunk is. Good gracious, it's huge. Massive uh, Impala logo there. And then if you're wondering if it's got a spare, sure it does, okay? And a little storage under there. So big trunk, I mean really big. Take a look at this window sticker here for a minute. You know, to be such a big car and, and 3.6 liter V6, still getting pretty dang good fuel economy. 28, 18, 22 average combined. So up to 28 mile per gallon. Good safety ratings. That's always a plus. And it's got a six speed automatic transmission in it. So it, it'll get up and boogie, folks. It will. And again, I'm pretty surprised on that fuel economy. That's good. It says uh, 4.5 gallons per 100 miles. Not bad. Um, yeah, door panel looks nice. Let's look at the interior on this thing. Uh, being the premier package, you can see, man, it's got some black with red, and that's real leather in here, which feels good. And I like this red piping going on in here. That's nice. Nice big seat, power seat. How many ways we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, ten with your lumbar. Steering wheel looks good too. Everything's kind of really sleek looking. Let's hop in here. You know, also leather wraps up onto the dash, which I don't think that, I don't know, it might be leather. It's pretty much all up there. The stitching looks good. The steering wheel definitely feels nice. Big screen. I mean, look at how big that screen is. It's got to be at least nine inches. I mean, that thing's massive. Start-stop engine button. And on the Premier, you'll notice on the pedals down there, kind of got a little sporty look going on with the pedals. When you put your feet on there, it feels nice. Cars nowadays, they won't let you rev them up too much while you're in park. Does have electronic park brake, a little storage down in there for your uh, for your change or whatever you want to hide in there. Maybe put a little mace in there for the ladies and spray some of these guys down if they bother them. Uh, dual climate control, kind of a wood trim, a synthetic wood trim. Got cooled seats and heated seats. I like that cooled feature. Traction control off. No paddle shifters in the car. Big armrest here though. That's nice. And then you open. Well, however you do open it. How do you open open this thing? Well, 
I do not know. I don't feel a latch anywhere to open that. Oh, here we go. Got it. Right there. Duh. More storage in there. You got two USB ports and a 12 volt and an auxiliary all in one area. So you're going to get your money's worth out of this car. Pretty big glove box. Not bad. Still got OnStar in here for safety, LED lighting. Do you get LED lights in your uh, vanity? Sure you do. It's still that stale white color compared to that white, white color. I mean, that's a stale white. Man, car manufacturers got to realize that women doing makeup don't need that off-colored white on their face. Or guys that like to do a little makeup too, right? Can't leave those guys out. Um, anyways, that looks good. Plenty of leg room in the back. Got to have the rear air vents. That's a good thing. Got to have the 120 volt, 150 watt max. Um, the Fords have a 400 watt max on theirs. So 150 watt isn't really that much, but I guess it's better than nothing. Armrest. Actually, you know, for such a big car and a lot of room in the back, that's a tiny armrest, is it not? I mean, look. I mean, if I got a, a cup here, that is, that's really got me there now. I'm glad I just looked at that. If I got a super-sized cup there, how am I supposed to rest my arm? Like this? Then I'm touching somebody else. Like this? What is Chevy thought? What in the world? Have, what has these engineers done? Look at all this space. I mean, they could have done the other design where the, the uh, cup holders come out. That does not make any sense. You do got LED lighting up here and tiny little headrests, but the headrests are small so you got more room to see out the window. Okay. Cubby hole spots. Nice. Okay, there you go. That armrest really got me just now. That is odd. All right, that's about it for the review today on the Impala. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, everybody. And uh, as usual, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And check out the other uh, 2018 Impala video we did. Just do a search on the channel. We'll see you soon.